This is the ultimate tuna pasta in red sauce with a kick. Oh yeah, we have beautiful, fresh Mediterranean ingredients in here that you're gonna love it so much. You're going to thank me for the rest of your life for this dish. Come on, let's make it together. To make the ultimate tuna pasta in red sauce, we need tuna. I have a nice tuna from Calabria. It's in a jar, 300 grams of beautiful tuna. Otherwise, you can use 300 grams of tuna from the can or even fresh tuna, up to you. 200 grams of cherry tomatoes, two hot peppers, chili, that's up to you. You don't have to use it if you don't like it. Two chopped garlic cloves, chopped parsley, very important, Capers, oh, the beautiful flavors of capers. I'm using capers from Puglia, they're nice and big. You need to remove the steam. If you can find them, great. Otherwise, use the normal capers that you can find. They come in salt or in vinegar. Make sure you wash them very well before you use it. Half bottle of passata, the tomato puree. 300 grams of rigatoni pasta. I love to use rigatoni. I recommend you to use a short pasta. You can use penne, fusilli. Otherwise, use any pasta you want. Salt, pepper, and extra virgin olive oil. What to do now is to cut the cherry tomatoes in half. I like to use cherry tomatoes because I want this dish to be as fresh as possible. So the fresh tomato, it's, it's so important for the flavors. The passata is gonna help us to make it a little bit more saucy. But I want the sauce to come from the cherry tomatoes. Now I like to cut the chili nice and thin. This is very, very spicy, eh? So up to you how spicy you want your pasta. And if you don't like chili, if you don't want to use spicy flavors, don't do it. What we're going to do here to the capers, the nice and washed, we'll remove the stain, just like that. Because we don't want to eat this. Guys, capers are so good. They can go anywhere. Salads, pasta, chicken, uh, beef, anything. Mm. Beautiful flavors of Puglia. In a nice pan, we want to put a generous amount of extra virgin olive oil. Four, five tablespoons. Extra virgin olive oil, so important here. And here we go. Now we want to cook the garlic and the hot chili. We saute for about 30 seconds, no more. After 30 seconds, we add the cherry tomatoes. Now, what we want to achieve from this is we want the juice from the cherry tomatoes to go in the pan. This process might take about five to 10 minutes. Beautiful, genuine, simple flavors coming out of the pan. Mm. Now the juice from the cherry tomatoes are releasing and going into the oil, that's why it's sizzling, and at the same time it's helping not to burn the garlic. Very important, because you don't want burnt garlic. Nobody wants to eat burnt garlic. But the seasoning is from the juice, from the tomatoes. When the tomato gets soft, you can start pressing. So you release juice, see that? See? So we help the cherry tomato to release the juice to the pan. This is the goal. You need to feel the food when you cook. It's all about the feeling. Talk to the food, get to know each other. So the juice is out, now it's time to add the tuna. We gently want to cook it, so they make love together. Now, while you put the tuna in there, make sure you crush it, because we want to break the tuna into pieces. If you want to use more tuna, less tuna, it's okay, you choose. I think in this case, the more the better. So the tuna is making love, the cherry tomatoes, in a press. We kind of we kinda want to get a mince, a ground tuna. Now we're gonna add the capers. Now is the moment for us to add capers. 
You can add more cables or less. This is up to you. Beautiful, beautiful flavors. Beautiful, amazing flavors. Now at this point, we want to add the pepper, black pepper. I do love black pepper on my, my food. It's the moment for the passata. So I can use half a bottle, or you can use the entire bottle. This is up to you. Depends how much you love the sauce. Half a bottle of sauce, for me, is enough. Because look at that. Now all the ingredients are making love. The sauce helped to combine all the ingredients. Look how beautiful this is. Look, stunning. Very thick sauce. Honestly, it doesn't take long to cook. In 10 minutes, this is done. Look how beautiful. Look how nice and thick. Bellissimo. Bellissimo. Let's put some parsley as well to the sauce. Bello. We can add more sauce. Now let's stir. And here we go, guys. Honestly, less than five minutes and it is ready. We want to make sure we do not burn the sauce. See how thick it is? There's not much water in there. Extremely, extremely thick. In this case, I might add a little bit more extra virgin olive oil. Just a little bit more. And here we go. We can go and boil the pasta. If you do this, can you see that it's dry day? We don't have any don't have runny liquids. This means that the sauce is pretty much ready. We just want to make sure that we cook this sauce for at least 10 minutes because it needs to make the love with all the ingredients. 10 minutes are more than enough. Usually when you make a bolognese sauce or any other sauce, you need one hour, two hours. In this case, this is very quick. The passata just needs to meet the other ingredients and get to know each other. Guys, also, let's put a touch of sea salt. Tuna and sea salt, they love each other. Now, the water is boiling and we're gonna add one tablespoon, a generous tablespoon of sea salt or rock salt. Here we go. Now we can add the pasta. My choice today is rigatoni. Always follow the instruction on the packet. This rigatoni needs 13 minutes. Guys, the pasta is ready. Oh, beautiful. So what we're gonna do now, we get a mug of pasta water. Now it's time to put the pasta in. Let's put the pasta in the pan. Put a little splash of pasta water in there, not too much. Just mix all the ingredients. This is why I love to use a nice large pan, because I can play with this. I want the pasta now to make love with all the ingredients. A little bit more pasta water in there. Now is where the magic begins. The tossing. Right. When you toss, so here you spread the sauce everywhere. Can you see that? Can you see what you've done? A little splash, a little splash, and we help to toss again. Look, look, look. Guarda, guarda, guarda. Wow, 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 wow. Look how rich this is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bellissimo. I just want you to look at the details. Come and have a look at the details. Look. We got the sauce everywhere. We got the pasta wet from the sauce. We have the capers mixing with the tuna. You want the ingredients to go inside the, the rigatoni, see? Look how beautiful this plate is. This is the ultimate tuna pasta in red sauce. The flavors are unbelievable. It's time to serve. How beautiful and juicy, look at that. Sozy. Now we take the plate. Be very generous. This is what Italian food is all about, ladies and gentlemen. Simplicity. Simplicity. Bellissimo. 
extra tuna here. A little bit of parsley, ladies and gentlemen. And here we are, a beautiful, simple Mediterranean dish made with love. Look how beautiful, oh, look, let's find the capers here, we got that, when I, see when I get the fork, I get the capers, I get the cherry tomatoes, I get the pasta, and all of this now can go in my mouth, all together, and now I can eat it, mmm, 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 what a pig, mm. guys, with this beautiful view, enjoying a beautiful Mediterranean dish made with love. Mmm. The tuna in there. Oh, the kick of the chili. The capers, such an important detail. Oh yeah, it elevates the, the, the dish to the next level. The juice of the cherry tomato. Made love with the capers. It's beautiful pasta. It's saucy, full of flavors. The tuna inside the rigatoni. Mmm. Mmm. Look where I am. Look at the view behind me. Look at the dish I'm eating. Who wants to be in my place right now? You tell me, huh? Mmm. The chili, the hot chili. Mmm, it's really there. Mmm. Thank you, Vincenzo for bringing this dish to all of you. Today, I wanna say this to myself, bravo, bravo, bravo. Guys, this is a must, a must make. So thank you so much for watching this episode. I will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora ti mangia, Vincenzo's Plate. Mm.